Would you please welcome to the stage, Miss Randy Crawford. Thank you. Thank you very much. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, a new day, a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Feeling good is the name of our new CD. And it's the name of our new CD because the music feels so good. And of course, uh, it is also paying tribute to people that we've listened to and that we've learned from in the past and that have touched our hearts and especially singers for me and of course musicians for Joe. People like Nina Simone or people like Aretha or people like Billie Holiday or people like all those great singers. My personal manager was Patrick Raines and I told Pat, I said, Pat, we should try and do everything in the world to record Randy Crawford was simple, simple, simple. Everybody has gotten it all wrong, including me. No strings, no horns, no heavy rhythm section. All I want to do is hear Randy Crawford's voice with a lot of space. Uh, he asked me if it would be fine if Tommy LaPuma was invited in on this project, and I told him that is absolutely the most perfect move to make. And uh, we, now, we now had these three men. Randy Crawford singing and, and basically we began to speak about it that we believe in spite of her getting mad at me <laughs> that she is truly an American treasure. You know how I feel, scent of the pine, you know how I feel, freedom is mine, that's how I feel, and this old world is a bold world and a new world for me. We thought about the record for a little while. We did some pre-production, as they call it. <laughs> so they sent me a number of songs, maybe 40 initially, and then dwindled down, and we got on the telephone and said, now look, I'm not going to be you know, writing arrangements for all of these songs. Would you like to you know, help us to decide which songs that you would like to really record ultimately? So we decided on these uh, 14 songs, which I consider treasures. and. Uh, singing a song like Love Town and singing a song like Rio de Janeiro Blue, which was sort of a special request of Tommy LaPuma's to re-record the song. The clouds come a-creeping and you've got me weeping this morning. Can't believe you're really gonna leave this town. Everyone knows I've always known, and most musicians have always known, that a classic record is everybody feeling the same thing at the same time. But prior to having the right people in the room to feel the same thing at the same time, you have to go to the people that you know have the same exact musical taste. And that's what I got from Randy, from myself, uh, from Tommy LaPuma, from uh, our management, from Paul Mitchell, to Steve Gadd, to Christian McBride, to Ray Parker Jr., to Dean Parks, um, the young percussionist in New York City. The most amazing thing about this record was how you could feel everybody becoming a part of the whole. But you know I won't be traveling forever. But hold out and do like I do 
when I need you I just close my eyes and I'm with you and all that I so want to give you baby it's all Easy when the road is your driver Honey, that's a heavy load that we bear But you know I won't be traveling a lifetime It's cold out and hold out Do like I do Oh, I need you When I need you is a song that um, it's just a very pretty song to me, and it's sort of gospelly. It's um, it's in three four time <laughs> for it, so I, once again it's kind of gospelly. And I always remember Leo Sayer's beautiful little round face and his pure rich voice singing with a lot of enthusiasm. And then of course we learned once again that some people that we work with wrote the song. I just learned that today earlier, like with Carol Bayer Sager and. Um, Mr. Hammond, they wrote that song, and uh, I sort of think in terms of that song is reaching out, of course, also to my parents, which are no longer in this world, because uh, sometimes I curl up in my bed, and I'm a little bit lonely, and I get a little sad, and then I have to look on up to heaven and say, I need you, you know, and I think of it as spiritually, and then if, and if you weren't my boyfriend, if you weren't married, I could say, well, I need you, you know, stuff like that. So well, that's why I like this. <laughs> this next song happens to be my favorite song on the CD, and Randy has told me that she feels the same way. We can't wait till it comes out. We are very excited. This is one of the most ex exciting projects I've been involved with. Steve Gadd and uh, Christian McBride played. It's a very, very wonderful album. We would like to now play for you all our most favorite song, and I will not tell you the name. If we just love it. This is the end of the line. I've clearly read every sign. The way you glance at me indifferently and take your the end of the line um it's just a pretty love song you know it seems like i sing a lot of love songs right and i learned it by listening to nina simone so a number of the songs that we have recorded were probably in my thinking a little bit more obscure than the obvious you know god bless the child it's got his own stuff like that just that lyric and the simplicity of it, which I thought was a very simple song to sing, turned out to be a, another musical challenge, but in a very subtle way. So, and then initially when I started singing it live, I was so lost and he had to rescue me and walk me through some of the changes. But it's just a really pretty love story, simply put, you know, once again. Ooh, hee, hee. 